Monday morning, just got nine o'clock. I'm interviewing Steve Plunkett from uh, Volvo and Polestar this morning around um, correct repair procedures on vehicles for the Vehicle Network podcast. So just some final preparation for that before we can hopefully get it recorded and published later on today. All right, it's Monday afternoon and we did get the podcast recorded and um, published. It's gone out on the usual podcast channels, um, Spotify, and we've, for the first time, put a visual out there as well. So that's going on YouTube. Hopefully we'll get some feedback on that. We've just finished a Microsoft Teams meeting um, regarding some training opportunities. I've just got one more job to do and it involves an engineer CU. So it's just gone five to seven. I'm just leaving Halifax now, having done some work with an engineer CU that we're trying to get some data from. It is absolutely Baltic. It is now Tuesday morning, a little bit warmer than it was last night. Crack, it was freezing, um, but still not warm enough to set the old sleeping bag off. We are in Yorkshire after all. Uh, this morning, we've been putting some stuff out on um, some of the social channels because we're launching the Vehicle System Forensic courses next year. So it's been a busy morning just getting some uh, promotional stuff out. Um, we have finished the job with the ECU as well that we were on with last night, so that needs writing up. We are now down at our offices getting some gear together because tomorrow we are out on the road to uh, assist Police Scotland up in Edinburgh with a Vehicle System Forensics examination for an ongoing murder investigation they've got going up there. So just need to make sure we've got everything together. Um, it's a long way to go, it's about four and a half hours drive from where we are, so um, we can't afford to forget anything. Um, so we'll just do a little check in, dotting I's, crossing T's as to what we've got in our kit bag for tomorrow on the road. Um, when we got down here today, we have received some furnishings for the office, which is pretty cool. Um, we will um, be looking at getting those up um, as soon as we can get some time in the office. We seem to be all over the place at the minute. But uh, yeah, that's an update for Tuesday. And that's all you're probably going to get today because we've got a fair bit of preparation to do. So we will catch you on the road, I guess. Wednesday morning, half past four, um, very early start. We've got to get to Edinburgh for 10 o'clock. So hopefully the weather and the traffic will be kind. So we are actually up in Scotland now, um, just waiting for a hard drive to finish imaging, following a um, module recovery and vehicle system forensics examination. Um, thankfully, we are inside. Um, because it is, again, pretty cold in the north. Um, so hopefully, we well, shouldn't be too much longer when we can get back on the road heading south. Back in the south, um, it's just coming up to half past eight, so 12, 16 hour day. Um, took quite some time up in uh, Scotland because we were having to image a drive on site and just sometimes that's what we've got to do in order to um, get the work done capture data so yeah long day and another one tomorrow because we're down in Bristol so that's another four hour drive so time for bed. It's 20 past 11 and we're just the other side of Birmingham now um, heading down to Bristol in order to give a presentation at half past one to Trading Standards and their regional investigation team's national conference so good to be back out in the um, flesh giving presentations in person hopefully we can offer them an insight into how vehicle system forensics may assist some of their investigations going forward so after yesterday's long trip to Edinburgh still another 60 miles to go to get down Bristol just come out of Bristol now following their presentation for trading standards uh, went pretty well um, some they did come up at the end and highlight something to me on our slides that we are going to leave in the slides so if you are at one of our presentations we expect you to find it. So we're back on the road now and probably about four hours to get back up now. Keep you posted. Alright, it's Thursday. We are back from Bristol. Um, another long day, another long day. Um, tonight I am pre-recording a house dance music show that um, I put out every week. Not many of you will know that, but it's just been a full on week. I've got to try and squeeze this in. So it's late into the Thursday evening to get this out for Friday. Friday tea time, where has the week gone? 
Today we have been down at our offices um, speaking to some people that have come over who are going to be supporting us with the Vehicle System Forensics training to discuss what they're going to help us with and can't say too much but um, really good knowledgeable people that can give people a real big insight into a certain area of Vehicle System Forensics but we'll just leave it at that for now. Um, managed to squeeze Friday feature in which I try to do every week on LinkedIn. Um, just to get some um, content and engagement out there for people that are interested in investigation um, and yeah administrative stuff in the main in and amongst but as you get older time just disappears like that saturday morning we've got more work to do this is um, research and um, development we're trying to work out something in respect to what's going on in the real world versus what's going on in the digital world and there's only one way to do it and that's the testing so we're uh, actually on site now, um, taking this infotainment module out of the vehicle and just in the process of downloading it. So it's guts, if you can see, they're spilling out and um, the unit's just down here downloading. So fingers crossed, we find out what we find out, but as a lot of testing, it's never wasted. If we don't get what we expect, then it's ruled a particular hypothesis out and it's important to know that as well so um, never wasted testing never so the testing's been done we found some stuff out that's going to be useful going forward um, never wasted as i've said he's doing some testing um, i hope you've enjoyed the appshaw vehicle network vlog as uh, following us through the week if you thought it was interesting and you want us to do another one then um, we'll look at doing that in again in the future but in the meantime it's saturday it's two o'clock and the working week is finally done